controversial decision. The Trump administration reverses federal guidelines on school bathrooms. The move removes the rights of transgender students to use facilities based on the gender they identify with. And WJZ is live in Mount Vernon. Amy Yancey has reaction to the new decision getting mixed reviews nationwide. Amy? Well, Mary, people in this community say the decision goes against their civil rights. It is not okay, and we will fight and fight and fight. Yeah. A battle cry from protesters outside the White House moments after President Trump scraps protections from transgender students. Reversing the Obama policy allowing transgender students to use public school restrooms matching the gender they identify with. It's kind of a no-brainer in that, you know, you want, to, you want to be in spaces that are consistent with who you are. For trans student Eli Sauerwalt, the decision feels like another rejection. There was a lot of bullying from my peers my freshman year. Um, was beat up in a bathroom. Under the Obama rule, states that restricted access to bathrooms would lose funding. This is not something that the federal government should be involved in. This is a state's rights issue. Now, states and school districts can come up with their own policies on transgender bathrooms. The issue in the national spotlight since North Carolina enacted a law limiting the use of public bathrooms, sparking massive protests by the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and trans community. Jabari Lyles runs a program for LGBT students in Maryland. There seems to be this hopping on the other side of all the really great things that were done by the previous uh, administration. Causing fear of more restrictions in the future. Is saying to the trans community that they do not deserve the same sort of respect as everyone else. And Mary, WJZ did reach out to school districts in our area. So far, none of them plan on changing the current policy. Reporting live tonight, Amy Yancey, WJZ Eyewitness News. Amy, thank you. The White House said Education Secretary Betsy DeVos is 100% on board with the hands-off approach to this issue.